Moving historic works of art within a historic interior is always a very complex business, but this is really on a very grand scale. We're talking about objects from paintings to porcelain to furniture, decorative objects, books, textiles, etc. Buckingham Palace is essentially a square made up of four wings. The resurfacing programme will be undertaken on a wing by wing basis. The next wing will be the east wing where we're currently standing and this is the most recognisable as it faces out onto the mall. Once the decant is complete, the works in the east wing will involve two main elements. Firstly, the resurfacing of the wing of the mechanical and electrical infrastructure, essentially pipes and wires, that is outdated and hasn't been replaced since the 1950s. However, it also presents a great opportunity to operationally improve the wing, to better service functions held by the Royal Family and also to improve accessibility into the building. In order to begin this work, we need to decant the wing of all the departments that work within it and also the artefacts. One of the things that's been very much a preoccupation for us working on this project is where we're going to put everything. Obviously we would like to retain as many objects as is possible within Buckingham Palace. Our plans also include, which is very exciting, a major loan of some of these extraordinary works of art to be returned to Brighton Pavilion to be situated within the interiors that were originally specially created for them under George IV. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong.